Okay, let's graph this quadratic equation. fx equals negative x minus 2 on the square minus 1. All right, let's find the vertex first. And since this is already in vertex form, we can take the values from here and here. So our vertex will be 2 and negative 1. Just like the formula shows, make sure you take the according values. There's a negative here in the formula, so that negative stays in the formula. There's a positive here, so in order to leave positive here, this would be like plus in parentheses negative 1. So we just take the negative 1. So 2, negative 1. All right. Let's look at the x-intercept. We're going to put this whole thing equal to 0. So negative x minus 2 on the square neg minus 1 equals 0. We're going to move this 1 on the other side. So negative x minus 2 on the square equals 1. Now we're going to multiply by negative 1, and we're going to have x minus 2 on the square equal negative 1. And now if we take a look at this, we can see that anything that we write is raise on the on an even power it will never be a negative value so this is an impossible statement therefore we can cross it out and we can say that there are no x intercepts so no x intercepts okay let's see what about the y intercept for that for that we're gonna take x, x equals zero. So y equals we're gonna take our x value and plug it right in. So negative parentheses, we're gonna plug in the zero, negative two on the square minus one. Okay, if we solve this, we're gonna get a y value that is equal to negative 5. All right, let's start graphing. I'm going to make x and y intercept axis, x and y axis. There you go. Now, first of all, we know how quadratic equation is graphed, the main one, right? This would be y equals x squared but we have a negative in ours so that means this is reflected right here the negative this means that it's reflected across the x-axis so we take the main one y equals x squared we reflect it across the x-axis so now it will face down so we will know that our parabola is somehow this way facing downward the other important thing that its vertex is not at zero zero it's moved to this location to this vertex that we found two negative one so we can mark those our vertex is two let's say one and two and negative one so negative one so our vertex will be right here and as we said, because of the negative, it's reflected across the x-axis. So it will go somehow like this, facing opening downwards. Now, we know there's no x-intercept, but we know that we have a y-intercept. And that would be 0, negative 5. We found it right here. y is 0, then y is negative 5. So let's graph that one. Negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 
and 5. So it will be right here. This will be negative 5. And yes, of course, the axis continues. So we know that the vertex and the parabola will nicely come downwards, will cross the y axis right here and keep going. On this side, it will follow symmetrically this one. And the other question that was asked us, the axis of symmetry, and this will be x equals 2, right here, because this side of the parabola and this side of the parabola, they match each other. So therefore, this line right here is our axis of symmetry, which is x equal to 2.